No. You got something you want to ask, just ask it. Is it about shots? Is it why the Leafs always lose when they outshoot someone? Did Vince Griffin's get a new haircut? Ah! Whoa! You serious? <laughs> Mind blown. I need idea. <laughs> I'm dumb. Deli hard. We get to the game, please. Yeah! Leafs lose 3-1 to the Los Angeles Kings because you know what? The hockey gods hate you, specifically you watching this video. The Leafs get Joffrey Lupul back but lose Dion Phaneuf and it looks like they're up against it. And they answer back with arguably their best game of the season and lose 3-1. Because of that one time you stole a snack from your friend's cubby in kindergarten. Because of that time you got an 8 slice pizza with two friends and you had the last piece when you know you already had three. Because of that time you beat Starcraft and the only cheat code you used was the gathering but you know that's still cheating. It's not the best cheat code but if you send a sign shockwave into a pack of zerglings, you know they're gonna die. Leaf fans, this game was a penance for your sins. The Leafs outshoot the Kings 39 to 23 and lose. And if Jonathan Bernier lost to Ben Scrivens, that would sting, but even worse, he lost to the third guy. Speaking of which, a lot of Leaf fans have been going to me, hey, you gotta ease up on the Leafs, okay? They're doing poorly because of injuries. The Kings are without Jonathan Quick. Ben Scrivens and Martin Jones have stepped up delightfully in his absence, but the rest of the Kings have too. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, if Jonathan Bernier got hurt, the Leafs would still have Reimer. If Reimer gets hurt, the Leafs still have Bernier. You are correct, and that is the bet the Leafs took. Feel free to make a trade to load up at one position, but if you get hurt at another, you're boned. Injuries happen to every team, and the Leafs are worth over a billion dollars. If injuries are what's actually hurting them, that's poor management. But injuries and suspensions certainly not affecting them in this game. It was just the hockey gods taking a dump on the city of Toronto, right next to the pile laid by the political gods. And I don't want to hear another damn thing about shot quality because Martin Jones just out Jonathan Bernier, plain and simple. The Kings wrote shot 39-23 by the Leafs. They didn't force shots to the outside. They didn't make the shots difficult to take. Martin Jones stood on his brain. Drew Doughty's goal? What? were the Leafs doing? Cody Franzen finally gets his first of the game and that was a sexy goal. I'm like, why is Phil Kessel at the point? Why is he charging? Oh, oh. And Cody Franzen said he went back to his old stick for this game. Stick with that stick, boo-boo. But then the game winning goal, which was the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good was Jeff Carter. He scored the goal after all. Sick shot, one of the best pure goal scorers in the league. Team Canada? The bad. Jonathan Bernier. I don't want to be too harsh on him because let's face it, A, it's Jeff Carter, and B, it was a two-on-one. It's not exactly called putting your goalie in a position to succeed, but he didn't even come close to stopping Carter. He did what I'm sure a lot of goalies league-wide would do if they saw Jeff Carter coming down on them in a two-on-one, and that was this weird half-butterfly, half-stand-up, and just hope for the best. The ugly on this goal was Paul Ranger. Bad pinch. And I watch the games, and I look at the numbers, and I'm going, what am I missing about this Paul Ranger, Mark Frazier pairing? Am I crazy or is Randy Carlisle just wrong? I don't have a Stanley Cup ring. I never played in the NHL. Hell, I never played Pee Wee. But I don't need to get kicked in the nuts to tell you it looks painful. Right, ladies? It doesn't look so nice, does it? It's not, by the way. Question of the game, absolutely, completely healthy, no suspensions. What should the Leafs' top six defense look like? I put Gardner up with Phaneuf. I like that gunnarsson Franzen pairing, let's keep that together, and Riley Lyles. Now you might be asking yourself, who among that group is going to play defense? To which I would retort, who amongst this group is playing defense? And now the Leafs take on the St. Louis Blues. Tonight, so I cut the video off here. A few things you need to check out. Lots of great stuff on theleafsnation.com. Here's what they are. One, Jeff Le wrote an article. It's very short, don't worry, easy read. Now I don't know what the numbers are after the game, but heading into the Kings game, the Toronto Maple Leafs, this year's Toronto Maple Leafs were on pace to give up more shots than any team in recorded NHL history. They were on pace to give up 3,047 heading into last night. Only one other team in recorded NHL history has given up over 3,000 shots. And number two, the LeafsNation.com has a new writer. Particularly if you live in the GTA, if you've ever watched Sportsnet, ever listened to Sportsnet Radio, Jim Lang has now joined the LeafsNation.com. Check it out, he wrote his first post for us yesterday, link down below. And of course, brand new Steve Dangle podcast. So click like if you like this video, click subscribe if you really liked it, and congratulations ahead of time to Alex Steen on his hat trick tonight.